We're back, Wrestling Mayhem Show. Please check out Sawtooth Willie. Uh, this week, he gets horny. You'll see what that means. Uh, go look at Sawtooth Willie, our favorite Pittsburgh hobo, and the Boxcar Beautician on YouTube and the Facebook so you don't miss a video there. Scott Steiner. Yes, that's Scott Steiner. You, you have it handy over there? Yep, I got it right here. That Scott Steiner makes an appearance, and I don't know. Can't, something weird happens with Beach. that. Does, does he do math? Your sort? arms, my arms are bigger than your leg. <gasps> yeah. Face. So, uh, Matt Carlins, you have a big question of the week for us. Well, it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it, Sorg. So, uh, I figured since we've been talking about Lucha Underground, it's timely because uh, you know production is just underway on season two of Lucha Underground mm-hmm. out somewhere in Boyle Heights in a warehouse somewhere. It's so so awesome i'm so excited um and we talk all about how lucha underground has created this altered reality that's so unique from the rest of professional wrestling and i know that deep down in the back of our brains we all have a current wrestler out there that we secretly wish would just show up on lucha underground someday so the big question for this week is which current wrestler would you pluck from their current situation and place into Lucha Underground. Ooh. Shit. Ooh. That's good. <laughs> I need to think about it, Sork. You go ahead. <laughs> now, uh, who would you pluck out of? Like, are we, are we, are we, like, kind of like, we don't like the situation they're in with WWE? Think they would just generally benefit? Or no, just this like- is basically only for our benefit. We want them in Lucha because that would be better for us as the viewer. That's basically yeah, all. all right. Kevin all Owens. Right, Kevin Owens. I think. Really? I think Kevin Owens. I think he'd be r- ridiculous there. Like, not that he would be like a crazy like lucha character or anything like that. He'd just be like a badass amongst amongst gods. Uh, I would. I would like to see the backstage of vignettes with Kevin Owens. Yeah. I would probably get down with Listen, the Kevin Owens you know and Dario Cueto's office. Know, would probably be fun. Not that I. You know, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Lucha Underground. Not a lot of Canadian representation there. <laughs> No. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't think there is. I don't know, unless no. they're under mask. But I don't believe so, no. Although, secondary answer, I love to see El Generico show up. Why the hell not, right? right? Um, but, you know, he'd be kind of like that goofy character that gets thrown into like the, the four ways and everything that seemed to be like the mid-card there, like with Jack Evans. So, mm. But, I don't know, that's my take. Mike, you said you had one? Um... I, I had one, but I'd be an asshole saying it. I was going to say Alberto Del Rio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, uh, no, my real answer, though. Um, delirious. Oh. Give me Delirious negotiating his contract with Dario Cueto. Please. Oh, jeez, yes. Please. Oh, jeez, yes. I, he never has to show up in the ring. I just want... A backstage segment with Delirious and Dario Cueto <laughs> negotiating their deal, what? and Dario, un- like pretending like he understands everything Delirious says, signs the contract, and as soon as he walks away, he turns to Black Lotus and like, what the hell was that guy talking about? <laughs> so, so, so it's kind of like those because they have those very bilingual conversations in this show, right? So, mm-hmm. so he doesn't get subtitled. No. Okay. No, absolutely not. Oh, so, so if, you, if you saw the, have you ever seen the video with Delirious and Chris Jericho? Yes. That, but as a, but picture Jericho as a heel instead of being buddy, buddy. Okay. Okay. I got, I got you. <laughs> I got you. Um, a secondary thought. I don't know, but uh, Delirious as backstage interviewer. And I'll leave you with that. Okay. I'm acceptable with that too. Also, um, she can replace Devin in NXT, or he. Also, he, I would love. To can we get see, a female Delirious while we're at it? <laughs> I would love to see. Just maybe think about Devin Col- Taylor and Lucha. I want to see the Colony go for the Trios Championship. Ooh, that'd be nice. <laughs> that'd be nice. All right, who, who else has got one? Other than I, I came up with. My, okay. I got mine, uh, and stay with me here when I say this. I'm trying to think of somebody with that would attribute both in ring as well as like the, the backstage, like movie style vignettes and stuff like that. And the one that immediately came to my mind was Chad Gable. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That'd be good. I really love the idea of 
them this being a lucha libre generally environment, having an Olympic like Nat wrestler come in, and that and you can do a lot with that. But also he's got the wrestling combined with his you know just personality. I feel like that would be a perfect just fit in. I feel like he could fit in anywhere. That would be a perfect fit in on on lucha. I mean, I feel like him in the backstage segments of lucha, he'd be like Fred on the Scooby Doo gang. Mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Like the straight man with an ascot. That that's that, that would be Chad Gable in the Lucha Underground locker room. But yeah, that would be mine. I I would really enjoy that. Uh, who are we missing? Garza, did you get one yet? No, uh I was actually gonna say also the colony, but uh Matt Mike would keep the his pants. So uh I'm gonna go I guess this is we're talking about him. Uh Kevin Thorne and Ariel as vampires <laughs> actual <laughs> vampires. <laughs> I, yeah yeah i'm with that i'm with that absolutely all right uh who, who else is everybody get theirs in i don't know if we have anything oh, in don't the... forget about me sorry here Should, oh yeah, you didn't in. get one okay, the okay. Room real quick i'm gonna tell you guys um i got a lot of good candidates in my mind i would like to see ethan carter the third try uh yeah. lucha underground just because um <laughs> he could kind of be like del rio except american so and richer <laughs> Just so, like American a hole, uh, American a hole, rich. Yeah, um, I, EC3 would probably work great. I hope, I hope. Are you are you are you listening to Joseph? Are you taking notes, man? Yeah, good. Uh, another guy, have, uh, Bobby in the chat room says Shinsuke Nakamura. That would be great one too. Obviously, yeah. yes. That, that, that's all. Guy who great. can do anything. You know who? Um, guy who's been tearing it up with um, uh, Ricochet lately. Um, who bears a striking resemblance to Prince Puma, by the way. Um, but a guy who's been tearing it up with Ricochet, Matt Seidel, um, at least in the ring, could be spectacular mm-hmm. in uh, Lucha Underground. And um, oh, he could, you know, because he's like for real that kind of um, like the, the, you hear the Cole Cabana one where he's talking about when he took peyote that one time. Like, <laughs> like that's that's him. Like, I think you know, you know who.